Welcome, we're here today at the 25th Annual Clean Air Awards Luncheon. My name is Aisha Gersos and I am the Communications Director at Breathe California. And we're here with Jennifer West. She is Green Trip Policy Analyst of Transform. It's an honor to speak with you here today. Thank you. It's an honor to give, get the award today for Transform. Thanks again for joining us. And, and I'd love to hear more about Transform. Great. Uh, well, at Transform, we believe that everyone in California should have um, should be able to live in a community where they can get around easily, affordably, and have a healthy lifestyle. And so with that in mind, we advocate for better transportation options. And part of that is Green Trip. At Green Trip, we certify and promote low traffic developments. So new residential apartments and homes that will be built, that will have built in uh, transportation options. One of the things is it's very expensive to live here. And so affordability of housing and transportation, those two combined are the largest part of most households budgets mm -hmm. and we know that owning a car is an expensive um, option and for low income residents who can't afford a car we want to know that there's safe and reliable and um, efficient transportation options we need to offer um, alternatives that are really better mm -hmm. for them better in terms of time and cost um, and then better ultimately for the air and for our lungs as well um, and so transit passes do that and with um, programs that are offered by some of the transit agencies in the Bay Area, uh, either an employer or a residential developer can buy 100 transit passes at a 90% discount and pass those savings on to the wow. residents. So instead of paying $150 a month for a transit pass, it's $120 a year. And yeah. um, it's really, it makes the transit option that much more achievable and doable for for people to make the right choice. Mm -hmm. um, same with car share memberships. Uh, we see yeah. more and more developers integrating car share into their projects and what that means is instead of going um, from going from a private vehicle ownership model to a shared um, one means fewer cars, fewer car mm -hmm. parking spaces, but also um, you know for a quick uh, errand, you're, you might choose your bike or walking or transit instead. Mm -hmm. What do you envision for the future? Because this is in many ways changing the narrative. Yeah, so we currently certify uh, a, a new residential project as Green Trip if it meets our thresholds. And going forward, we would like to share that information with an online tool. And mm -hmm. we're building a statewide model that will help anyone to evaluate a new residential project with all of those elements and find out um, as the outcome would be how much driving is reduced and how many uh, greenhouse gas emissions are reduced as a result of adding transit passes or car share or charging separately for parking, mm -hmm. adding affordability because we know low income residents are going to drive less and use transit more. So um, by putting all that together in an easy to use online tool, we're hopeful mm -hmm. that we'll be able to spread those ideas and see more and more projects adopting those strategies. What are some of the challenges that you face, but also uh, what some of the major um, focuses are for the future and, and how you'd like to envision? Great, yeah, um, we, so we think it's really important to engage communities in these decisions, and one way that we've been able to do that is to empower residents of affordable housing and low income um, residents to be involved in the planning decisions that are being made and we yeah. feel that the Green Trip Connect tool which I just described will be one way to do that. Another way we've provided um, data through a Green Trip parking database and mm -hmm. anyone can go and see how much parking was actually being used at these sites around the Bay Area and be able to use that tangible information to help affect future decisions as well. And then you mentioned the policy side um, that we're working at the state level to ensure that the state's uh, cap and trade funds or greenhouse gas reduction funds are being used to truly support good um, development near transit. And we're not putting a lot of parking next to transit, but instead incentivizing yeah. new um, residential development to have have their residents make the right choices in terms of how they're going to get around. We want everyone to be able to get safely to school, to work, to wherever they need to go and have a car-free option. 
available. It's been an honor to have you on board. Congratulations again. For Thank you to you. Breathe California for, for this award. We're deeply honored. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you.